Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be revisiting the mystery of who is inside Micah Bell's hideout outhouse in Red Dead Redemption 2. So this is a mystery that I have very briefly covered in a video I did maybe a month ago where we decided to revisit Micah's hideout after you beat Red Dead Redemption 2 and what happens when you're up there. And we found out that there is an outhouse with someone trapped on the inside. And ever since we found out this glitch where you can use the lantern and the pistol to sort of navigate your way into locked interiors, hundreds of you guys have said, please see if you can find out who is inside Micah's hideout outhouse. Because I've had some theories in the past that have held some pretty good weight, but I'm not sure what to think now because we've sort of got some new evidence. So I was inspired to check this out based off of the hundreds of comments you guys left, but also a post I saw on the Red Dead Mystery subreddit by a user, the Undisputed 21 who was able to do something very interesting to Micah's hideout, and we'll be showing you guys that in this video today. So in case you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, Micah Bell has a hideout at the end of the game on top of Mount Hagen, and it basically consists of a watchtower, a little campfire, a shed, and an outhouse. The outhouse is locked, however, there's someone on the inside. Now, whoever this person is on the inside, they have some distinctive features. They're wearing a big red coat, they have a splint on their leg with a crutch, and they also have a bald spot on the top of their head. And it looks like they literally froze to death or died while using the restroom pretty horrible way to go out on the top of a snowy mountain. So let's get this first thing out of the way, and that is trying the glitch with the lantern to see if we can get on the inside. Now, I tried this for about 10 or 15 minutes, and I had no luck whatsoever. So in case you guys don't know what this glitch is, essentially you take the lantern out, you also hold a pistol. So the lantern is in your left hand, the pistol is in your right hand. In third person, you look all the way down, and then you walk up to the object in which you want to get inside, or the door in which you want to get past. The lantern needs to go through the wall, and then you go into first person, and if done correctly, you should be on the interior. However, with this outhouse, that just simply isn't possible. I tried this for about, again, 10 or 15 minutes, and I did not have any luck in doing this. Now, I know what you guys also might be saying, well, why didn't you try the panther method? I also tried that as well, bringing the panther carcass up here and skinning it. That did not work either. So none of the two popular wall glitching methods for us to see interiors happened to work. So there was no way to physically get inside Micah's outhouse. However, I had been told and I had seen that some players had the ability to shoot the walls of the outhouse and that you could actually break them down, thus giving us a better view of who is actually on the inside. So I started on this left wall and I wasn't having a whole lot of success and I was trying everything. I was trying revolvers, I was trying shotguns, I was trying bolt action rifles and I wasn't able to break away at the wood and I was kind of getting frustrated as to why others were able to do stuff like this, but I was not. So again, that's kind of frustrating that all I was doing was making chunks of wood holes uh, in the side here. And then I decided to move to the back and this is something I had no idea you can do. You can actually shoot out the wooden planks from the back of the outhouse. Now it's not all of them, which kind of leads me to believe that Rockstar programmed this on purpose, that some of the wood slats could be shot out of the back here, but not all all of them and they get shot out in like a weird way that doesn't make sense so you guys if you want to try this for yourself you sort of have to play around with it but you can see what i'm doing right here i'm just simply firing at almost all the planks of woods that i possibly can to sort of reveal as much as possible and this was sort of my end result here. There's not really a clean view that you can get. It's just sort of a jagged, broken, wooden mess, but this is really what you end up with, and this is the view that you ultimately get. So we can see who this is a little bit better, and we can also see the interior of the outhouse much better as well. But does this give us a better idea 
of who is on the inside. Well, we're gonna have to determine that. So because we can only see this person from the back, it really just reveals a cleaner view of who is on the inside. Again, you can see the splint on their leg. It also seems as if they have a bandage on their foot. They seem to be leaning over on this splint. And for the most part, that's about it. We just get a much cleaner and better look at who this is on the inside of the outhouse from being able to break down these planks, which again is something I had no idea you could do in the past. Now with this opening in the outhouse, I wanted to try a couple of different experiments. The first was could we use some sort of explosive like dynamite to actually now get something on the inside? And unfortunately the answer is no. It sort of hits an invisible wall or this invisible barrier, so there's no way to get dynamite on the inside of the outhouse. All it does is sort of make everything kind of crispy. I also wanted to do some experiments with whoever was inside the frozen person. You actually can't do any damage to them, so shooting them with explosive shotgun rounds or anything along those lines doesn't do any damage to the actual person on the inside, so there's no way to do that. I also wanted to see what would happen if we lit the shed on fire. Would anything happen there? And unfortunately, the answer is no to everything just once again gets really crispy. And that is about it. Even our poor guy on the inside gets really crispy, but nothing else comes of that. So now the big question is, does this reveal who is on the inside of the outhouse? Well, it certainly gives us a better idea. And I've also found out some more information that might discredit some of the likely choices that you would think. So I think the top choice that a lot of people wanna say is this is someone related to Micah because he uses this as a hideout at the end of the game. Now the only two family members we know of Micah are his dad and his brother. However, there is actually a campfire conversation that I think sort of dispels that it could be either of them. Take a listen to this. Old Micah Bell told me that was my daddy. Micah Bell, like his daddy, too. A pair of wild horses, they was. Father and son, and then me. At one point, my daddy was wanted for murder in five counties. Five! Never did suffer fools. Damn near killed my brother one time. But my brother always was a fool and a coward. Yella is pissed on snow. Never could stand him, <laughs> nor his wife. Lives over in California by the sea. Pathetic. What kind of a man lives by the sea, I ask you? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Kind of man that gets told where to live by his wife. <laughs> Ain't no woman never told me nothing apart from make yourself scarce. And that suits me about fine. So I definitely think that that conversation rules out Micah Bell's brother, who we know is Amos Bell. And the reason for that is he says he lives in California with his wife on the sea. And we also know that Amos Bell writes Micah Bell. Uh, in chapter 4, you can actually find a note from him telling him how much he despises him. So it's pretty clear that by chapter 4, he is still alive. So what about his father? Well, I don't know. It seems as if his father was wanted in five different states. So why would this be him? I mean, we can't really tell if it looks like Micah Bell's father. So I'm still going to leave that door open. Another theory I saw based off of the bald spot and the big red coat is that it was Pearson in some way, shape, or form, Simon Pearson. That's obviously not true because we know in the epilogue, Pearson is alive. So I think the most likely theory here is that this is someone who used to own this watchtower. 
Now, the reason that makes sense is because before this became Micah Bell's hideout, this was just simply a watchtower on top of Mount Hagen. Now, what it was a watchtower for, I'm not sure, was whoever was up here watching the snow. I'm I, Again, I really don't know. However, something else I noticed about this outhouse is like many restrooms you might use, they lock from the inside, and there seems to be a locking mechanism on the bottom of this door. So based off of everything we know so far, the foot injury, the splint, uh, the crutch, what I'm thinking is that maybe this person got locked inside of the outhouse and froze to death because the way they're sitting in there, they're sort of hunched over leaning on the crutch like they had been in there for a long time and were getting tired of sitting up. So that's honestly kind of what I'm thinking here is that it was the owner of this outhouse and maybe due to a mechanical malfunction of the bathroom or their own injury, they were unable to get out of the cold. Now, as you guys know, the last time we visited Micah's hideout, we were actually able to go inside and check out what was going on. Now, I was at first looking for any details for Micah and Dutch, but I also this time wanted to see if I could find maybe any documents, photos, or uh, items of maybe the previous owner. And aside from some jackets and snowshoes, there wasn't really anything specific. So unfortunately, that was kind of a dead end. And same with a lot of the newspapers in game. It's also a dead end. The only thing you get revealed is that Micah Bell is alive, but that's it. There isn't any mention of the hideout, and there certainly isn't any mention of, you know, if he killed anyone specific to take over this area. So the new evidence that we looked at today by being able to destroy the outhouse and also what he has to say about his father and his brother are certainly interesting. And I think it adds another unique perspective on who is inside here. But I think until we find either like a newspaper clipping or I guess the PC version of the game where we're able to clip inside the outhouse, I don't know if we're, we're truly going to be able to know who is on the inside. But this certainly does give us a better view and it certainly gives us a better perspective as well. So if you think you know who is on the inside of this outhouse in Red Dead Redemption 2, be sure to let us know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.